a breast cancer survivor. I am the first female in my family to have this uh -huh, uh -huh. on either side. That's my first one on the drum. That's my first born daughter. And I had a stroke mm -hmm. and I delivered her into this world. Uh -huh. God has been good to me. Come on. Speak it. And if nobody else can say thank you, I know I can. Miss Judy was so special to me. Um, I came to Pilgrim Temple Church in 2004. And over the course of time, um, you know, uh, we would socialize and fellowship with Miss Judy and Mr. Gerard and the kids, uh, Dorian and Alexis, when she came along. And um, I, I always admired Miss Judy because she was always so sweet, right? But you know, the thing about when you fellowship with other churches, you don't get a chance most of the time to see the real person. You see glimpses of, of their personality and their character, but you don't really get a chance to see them. And when Miss Judy became a member of Pilgrim Temple, um, it was at a time where I wasn't working a full-time job. And it was such a special time because I believe that that time was assigned to Miss Judy and I for us to grow closer, um, for us to be able to spend a lot of time together, um, for uh, um, me to see her the way I had wanted to see her prior to her becoming a member of the church. And Miss Judy was so real, so genuine, so understanding, so empathetic, so loving. Um, Miss Judy would just sometimes take a look at me um, when I would walk in the doors of the church or sometimes walking in the doors of her home or when I would come pick her up to take her to a doctor's appointment and she would instantly know that something was going on or something was wrong. She was intuitive that way. And we would talk about it because I shared very personal things with her um, as she did with me. And she would just know, and she would say, I know that you're struggling this way. And um, after we would have our discussion, she would make me laugh to the point where I would cry. Um, Miss Judy shared dreams that she had about me that were so on point. I'm going to tell, and this is my first time doing this. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. So I got a lot of firsts <laughs> in my repertoire. Yeah. And I'm the first college graduate in my family. Glory. I was the first college graduate, like I said, uh -huh. with a master's degree in my family. Uh -huh. All right. And I thought, oh, I was going back to work after I gave birth to Alexis. Well, God had a plan for me. Right. Yeah. But I didn't know it was speaking to me. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Because sometimes we don't like going there. You know, what you gotta do, what you gotta do, you know? When I was in college, the professor would say, you in class, you get up, give a speech. And I ain't like that. Father God, in the name of Jesus, yeah, Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this sanctuary tonight. I ask that you will bless my apostle tonight. I ask that you will bless these lovely females that have gathered a word, to hear a word, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord God, keep us all on one accord and in one mind, Lord God. So direct into my future. Um, 
I think of Miss Judy now, you know, as I struggle with my own chronic illness. And I think about her vulnerability um, as I uh, advocate for myself. And I, I carry that with me as I also extend my vulnerability because it is hard to live with a chronic illness. But Miss Judy taught me so much about being vulnerable and gracious and graceful through an illness. And so on some days when I feel like I can't do it and I wonder why this had to happen to me, I think of her because she would boldly ask those questions, but at the same time, she would always go back to relishing in her relationship with God. And that's something that I miss about her. I miss, I miss her presence. I miss those talks. I miss being able to relate to somebody who was older than me, but at the same time, who learned so much from me and I learned so much from her. Um, whenever I would speak in church, she would always express how proud she was of me. Um, she would encourage me to continue my education. Um, I just miss her. But you know what? I think that I was special and that I had about six to seven months of like quality time with her. It's nothing like when you when you are able to when you're taking somebody and transporting them around and eating with them and 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 just chilling with them, you get a chance to really see them. And that's the thing that I I, I take pride in. So when she passed away, I was very sad, but at the same time I was grateful because I got special time with her. And as a child who always wanted to know that I was special, having special time with her meant everything. So on her 60th birthday, I just send her love in heaven because she truly was a celestial mother, a, a superhuman being. Um, I send love to her that I know she feels. Um, I, I stay connected to her spirit. So this is not foreign for me to say this. Um, I, I send love to her family, especially her children, whom she loves so, so much. And she expressed that all the time um, to her family, to her friends. Um, she was somebody who I called and I consider a spiritual matriarch. You know, we have all of these uh, saints and these people that we hold in high regard when it comes to religious spaces. But she was a spiritual matriarch and she wore that title boldly and proudly. Um, and I'm forever grateful for that. She taught me how to be and I'm grateful and thankful. So I love you, Miss Judy. I'm thinking of you. Happy 60th birthday. God bless. Hello, everybody. I would like to take this time to wish a happy heavenly birthday to our beloved Judy Stone. Truly, I loved her so much. She was one who poured so much into my life. And she encouraged me. Uh, it was days that I wanted to give up and she said fight. And of course that would come from someone like her who is who was such a great fighter. Um, truly I wanted to send my sentiments to let her know that I still do love her. And may her spirit be blessed. Uh, I do want to give a rendition of a song that I sang at her funeral and just truly I want everyone to just continue to remember to love one another um, so we may be able to see and and show it while we are here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and sing the song it goes God is the joy and the strength of my life he moves all pain 
misery and strife. He promised to keep me and never to leave me. He's never ever come short on his word. I've got to fast and pray. Stay in the narrow way and keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. Cause I come too far and I'll never turn back. God is God. God is, God is, oh, God is my oh, and oh, God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not Thy compassions; they fail not. As Thou hast been, now forever. Summer or winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Hello, my name is Dorenza Thomas, and I'm the line sister of Judy Stone. Judy and I have been friends since high school. And we pledge Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated on the campus of Coppin State College, which is now Coppin State University. I spent a lot of time with the Stone family, fond memories of going to Mr. Porter Stone, Judy's father's social club events were at Martin's West and places of that magnitude. Also had the pleasure of working with her aunt Betty's um, when we worked at Hutzler's, and I'm dating myself. God bless both of their souls. But I'm here today um, just to let you know that Judy is definitely missed, a major woman who was on fire for Christ, who served the Lord while in high school and in college and throughout her adult life. She truly is one who exemplifies the miracle working power of God. God bless her to give birth to two amazing children. I thank her son, Dorian, today for inviting me to be a part of this verbal memory session of Judy. I can tell you this, Judy not only loved the Lord, it was never any drugs, alcohol, or anything inappropriate that took place around her or in her presence. She maintained the standard of being a virtuous woman. She was persuaded to join Zeta Phi Beta by a dear friend of her, of hers, Maurice Blackwell. And we all became Zetas together, myself, Judy, and 15 of my line sisters. During the years, Judy and I would connect, disconnect. And my last time of really being with her was many, many years ago when her daughter won a bike at an event that was sponsored at John Wesley United Methodist Church in which, in which I attended. At that time, I did see her health was failing and we promised to keep in contact with each other and we did until we could not anymore. And then it was um, countless um, illnesses that attacked her life and body. But doing all of that, Judy was triumphant. Judy exemplified the qualities of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. 
And therefore, when at her burial, we made sure Judy Stone did have an official Zeta burial provided with documents for her family. And one day we will see her in the big boule in the sky. But in the meantime, I encourage everyone to exercise the qualities that Judy possessed and her love for Christ, her love for family, and her love for humanity. You all have a great day, and I honor my sister on her birthday, which is the 21st of June, will be her 60th birthday. Let's remember her and love. Thank you. My name is Dorenza Thomas, and I am one of Judy's line sisters from Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. This tribute is for you, Judy. I remember the first day that we met at Pilgrim Temple. Um, you were so full of love then, and your love just continued every time we met. I remember our conversation, so inspirational for both of us. Uh, I, I enjoyed our talk time. Uh, you were the most intelligent uh, person that I had met in a quite a long time, and I really uh, gleaned from a lot of the things you said. Uh, we celebrate your birthday, even though you're in heaven, we want, we don't want to forget, ever forget you and the impact that you had on the world and especially that you had on us. We celebrate your day with love. Join me, it's all nature in manifold, manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, thy mercy and thy love great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness thank you Jesus morning by morning new mercies I see and all I have needed thy hand hath provided Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for all my sins, and peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today, and bright hopes for all of my tomorrows <laughs> blessings are mine with ten thousand thrown in beside great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness every time I wake up in the morning a brand new mercy I see and all I have ever needed, thy hand hath always provided. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. not promised me sunshine that's not the way it's going to be but a little rain mixed with God's
Just say thank you, Lord. I'm grateful for everything you've done, everything you're gonna do. Be grateful, listen. Be grateful. Be grateful. Because there's someone else who's worse off than you. Oh, be grateful. Would love to be in your shoes. Be grateful. Be grateful. If you don't believe me, go out to the hospital and take a look around. You got use of your limbs. You ought to be grateful. Because he's given you another day to live in his glory. Oh! 